Hello, I'm Sean Alcock, Head of Health and Social Care Systems. Uh, I'm fortunate to have a couple of different teams uh, that I'm responsible for. Uh, one of those teams being business architects. And what the business architects will do is engage with staff, engage with stakeholders, understand certain problems or areas for improvement. What they'll then do is then look for solutions, specify that and then hand that over to uh, another team that I'm responsible for. We also have systems development. That team is responsible for then taking a specification from the business architect and then turn that into something within a system. So for example, Rio, um, the systems development team may develop an assessment form or a letter or various configuration within that system. We also have our bespoken integration team and what they will do is pretty much build anything that we can't get from one of our existing systems or that we can't necessarily buy off the shelf. Um, so that might be something like an e-form request or the referral portal that we've developed and that team will do that but they'll also do integration so if we've got different systems that don't talk to each other they can help to bring those um, systems together and integrate those and finally we have our clinical systems support team and as you would expect what they do is pretty much support um, all of those other teams when they deliver things so bespoke applications or improvements to Rio they will support that but they'll also support the wider trust and staff that may ring in needing support a big focus um, for what we're doing as a team in the coming years is around digital maturity um, we've developed a program called our digital capability framework program uh, and that sees us delivering about 30 projects within the next few years all aiming at reducing the burden on some of the staff that we've got um, but then also how do we make our systems more capable um, so taking modules from suppliers integrating systems and then again using our bespoke development team to then do levels of integration or custom build where we need it but ultimately we're doing all of that to ensure that we are delivering the best patient care that we can whilst reducing that burden on staff.